you have written a book, and I congratulate you. Thank you. That is, uh, that is a hard thing to do, to write a book. And uh, in, hard. in this book, you investigate ethnic stereotypes, and you do it with a lot of honesty and uh, a lot of acuity on your Ooh, part. Ooh, thank you. Uh, let's start with the Irish. You talk about the Irish. Our people. Our people. It's, uh, yeah. Well, just uh, talking about, you know, how we are, the, like, we're very shy. Like, first of all, they always say, Sigmund Freud, you say the Irish are impervious to therapy. Andy, you're out of this conversation. Okay. <laughs> right. I'm kidding. But anyway. He's German. Uh, so, uh, you know, and it's because our whole life. <laughs> no, not because why well, he's German. I'm saying back to what I was talking about. Yes. Is uh, because our whole life is being called out on every little, you know, being criticized constantly. What was that? A drum This whole show just is... <laughs> I don't know if you can even hear that at home, but I think a toilet just <laughs> fell over <laughs> behind the curtain. The couch collapsed a while ago. Uh, you know, whatever. This, yeah, this might be to... the last one we do, so enjoy it, folks. Uh, yeah. And I'd like to cut, if we can cut around my Irish thing, it's already not doing as well as I, I, get, a bad, <laughs> I get a bad vibe about it. I love that you're, um, I love that you're self-hating about your Irish hunk. <laughs> that is so Irish of you. Exactly. Yeah. It's very, well, I don't want to say meta, because Irish people don't use a word like meta. It's a little pretentious. <laughs> you, um, you the word used... pretentious is also a little pretentious. <laughs> yeah. You used your Irishness as a secret weapon to get girls, and I wish I knew how this worked, because during my single days, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, my Irishness in no way helped me get girls. How did it help you? Well, what I would do is I was literally, Laura, I would uh, go to bars, and I'd pretend to be, I'd talk like this, and I was basically oh. from Ireland. I was from, I, was, I tell them my name was Colum, and I kind of am Colum. Because it was close to Colin, so when I was really drunk, <laughs> if somebody said, hey, Ralph, I wouldn't turn around. But right, like, right, right, oh, right. Colum, you know. Right, right. And so, but basically, I was an IRA guy. I didn't say IRA. Oh, wow. I really IRA sure. guy, I wouldn't say that. Right. I would just be like, well, the Troubles, Northern Ireland, they call it the Troubles. Right. And uh, I'm kind of in a, I'm a fu fugitive status, kind of a bartender fugitive guy. Poet, I bring a little book. I always had like a little play or something, you know, yeah. intellectual with me. I'm not saying it worked every time. But I, no, but you're saying you're saying that you would ha you would affect an Irish accent. Yeah, but the crowd's judging me like this is not like a, he's got any game whatsoever. No, no, no. Back in the '80s, this was game. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> so you're talking to a girl. Just be. I'm, I'm a girl right now. Oh hi. Just, how are all right. Oh right. Okay, you can be the girl. Let her be the girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I, I, I can't believe I pretended I was the girl. Lauren Graham is here. She's sitting right there, and she's absolutely beautiful. And I'm like, well, I'll be the girl. <laughs> There's no girl around, so I'll be the girl. Well, you said Did you this... said you're the closest thing to a female talk show host. I think I am. <laughs> I'm getting closer every year. So uh, right. did, it, did it work for you? You actually got women that thought that you were kind of a, a cool terrorist. Well, yeah. I mean, girls love a good accent. Yeah. I mean, I don't know the quality that they were or I was at the time, really, to be honest. But, uh, you know, it was all, it was a numbers game. It was a numbers game. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel so they will stop making me shoot these videos. Please.